Hey loves, welcome to Rogos High. This is going to be a general reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. I'm just going to look into t- <laughs> what the fuck. I'm going to look into spirits messages for you and we'll look into how the person on your mind or the person that has you on theirs is feeling at this time with the index cards. All right, so starting off with, I'm going to start off with the index cards. Okay, so just get that out the way. <laughs> And then we'll dive deep into Spirit's message for you. All right, Taurus. So let's do it. Please take it as it applies. The messages are general. They may or may not be for you. Okay, whatever it is, go ahead and receive that. Okay. Now let's jump into these messages. Messages right away. <laughs> I'm seeing fake friends as well as ready to commit. Okay, so... A little contradictory so let's see what the fuck is going on here mm, maybe you got some fake friends that's trying to cock block you know some type of love somebody trying to commit to you your friends or fake friends don't want to see that happen i just saw one 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 all right so i am hearing that you guys could be dealing with the capricorn or uh somebody born in january but i feel like you know somebody doesn't want you to be with this person but they could be ready to commit to you, Taurus. Let's just get some messages from this person, all right? Or the person on your mind that has you on their mind. Let's stick to their energy, okay? And uh, let's, like I said, the tarot cards will utilize what your energy is. But, you know, let's just see how they're feeling, okay? <clears throat> this one sticking out we have never in the mood all right so this person could be a water sign scorpio cancer pisces but they feel like you're never in the mood for them Taurus. they feel like you never um show them love or show them attention um, i'm being reminded of that friend energy as well so it could be a friend of yours that feel like you know been intimidated when you get in relationships because you tend to change towards them or that just could be like a fear that they're having like you know they don't want you to commit to someone or they don't want someone to snatch you up off the market because they already know that they'll lose out on time with you okay mm -mm. i hear spirit telling me to <laughs> drop some uh examples um i i don't know i know how you guys are Taurus. i know you guys would um really engage towards love when you're in love with someone you even become a bit protective of the, the relationship all right so maybe you are not mindful you know that you completely forget about or you know you treat your friends or treat family as less of a priority when you get into relationships all right so um, with this saying fake friends, it makes me feel like these could be friends that you are starting to view as fake or people that you're starting to question, like if they really fuck with you or not because they're not supporting you at this time. Um, I feel like spirit wants you to be mindful, be mindful of your behavior as well as their behavior, like really use your discernment right now. Are these friends really like your enemies now or do they have a valid point towards, okay? Because again, I personally have been in situations with Taurus friends who have um, completely neglected their friendship when they got into relationships and it had a lot to do with them feeling like, you know, their friends was hating on them or some weird shit, you know what I mean? So just be mindful not to um you know get so caught up i'm hearing usher caught up <laughs> that you start to feel like the world is against your relationship okay does it have anything to do with something you're doing <laughs> if so you may want to check that first okay all right continuing on we have no more games Alrighty, so I do feel that there is someone that is so serious. Like I said in the beginning, we saw that uh, ready to commit energy. So the person that you're dealing with, they could be serious about you. Maybe this person wasn't um, committed in the past, or maybe you don't take them that seriously because of how they used to do things. I'm picking up with the no more games energy that is like they used to play games, but now they've come to the conclusion that, you know, you're worth more than that. You're worth their attention. You're worth um, them making you a priority. 
Alrighty, so whatever the situation may be, I'm also picking up on work relations, alrighty, um, as well as family. Like, I'm getting this whole full package vibe going on. Like, a lot of people around you that you fuck with, they're, they're trying to respect your wishes, but they're being very honest with you at this time. So please, again, pay attention to the signs, pay attention and utilize your discernment and make sure that you are not completely eliminating or judging or feeling a way towards people uh, because they're giving you their truth, all right? Maybe it's not what you want to hear, but if it's their truth, it's their truth. Let's try to respect other people, all right? <clears throat> what else we got, y'all? See, <laughs> it don't concern me how they feel about you. Yeah, see, there's this energy, guys, going around you. That is like, you know, I don't give a fuck. I don't care how anybody else feels. Whether this is your person doing this or the person, um, you know, it could even be. I'm getting like third party energy. Um, not on your part, Taurus. I'm really getting it from your person's end. So there could be a lot of people that are in their ear that are judging you. Okay, that are trying to warn them about you and they don't care right now. Like they're they're quieting out the noise, the outside chatter. All right, so with that energy, guys, I am picking up like they could I'm hearing project. They could, you know, get into your ear like, yeah, all our people don't support us. Our friends don't support us, our family don't support us, like some trauma bonding type of energy. And I want this um to be clarified from a, a, a space of love towards that, you know, their issue isn't necessarily your issue. If they're having people that are not supportive of them, it doesn't mean that your people are not supportive of you, okay? It could be a completely different ball game, all right? So just make sure you're not confusing the two. I feel this is on their end. They have people that may genuinely be full of shit and just not supporting this connection, whereas you have people that truly have concerns and are not supportive, okay? So just make sure you're not confusing the two. Discernment is key right now for you, Taurus. Discernment is key. <laughs> Probably like, that's my man, that's my lady, that's my problem. Not necessarily Taurus, okay? Because you could have some real live motherfuckers on, on your end, but then they got some full of shit people in their ear. You know what I'm saying? So just be mindful that you're not carrying all of that. Yeah, I see that single energy, okay? So it makes me feel that some of you guys could be single. The person you're dealing with, they've been single for a while. I'm also, again, feeling like, you know, independent with the single energy. Their problem is not necessarily your problem, alrighty? It, it's not the world against your relationship. It could really just be their people against your relationship. And you have people that are more supportive of you and are just looking at your best interest right now. So just be mindful not to... Uh, combine the two you have your own life your own support system your own things going on and this person they have other things going on okay so just be mindful of that be mindful that you had a life I just heard mama got a life too <laughs> you had a life before these people came into it and um, try not to become so involved in their shit that you lose yourself or you start to lose your discernment and you start to jumble everything up into one big ass gumbo pot is what I'm getting, all right? Keep that shit separate. <laughs> I just heard cross-faded. <laughs> it's like, do one thing at a time, Taurus. Don't be out there getting all cross-faded, fucked up, interfering, mixing their shit with your shit. Like, let's make sure that they got some stability before you go you know, mingling and pulling all their energy into yours, okay? They're going to need to have to put their big boy, big girl draws on and handle their own shit before involving you, okay? So just make sure you still have your own independence, even if you're in a relationship, all right, Taurus? Stuck in the past, okay? So again, um, you have someone that really is feeling like, you know, Either you're stuck in the past, stuck on something, or stuck on someone. I feel like someone wants you to prove something to them. All right? You could have a person that wants you to prove. Because I feel this person has very strong feelings towards you. And they want you to prove that you feel the same way. But it's like their love language may be a bit different than yours. All right? So you're going to have to let them know that you, you have your own way of thinking. 
All right, even with it, it doesn't concern me how they feel about you and the single energy. It's like you have your own way of doing things, your own way of thinking. So maybe this person needs to really understand that about you or you need to show them that you are not ran by anyone, you know, any outside influences. You think for yourself. I feel like this person, they have a, a misconception about you, that you are moved by your past or stuck in your past or that your past controls you in some way, shape, or form. And they just need to, to understand and know that you're your own person. Okay, you do things how you want to do things. So if you feel a way about something they're doing or you are... 1,000% um, supportive about something that they're doing. This is all coming from you. A single mind, a single heart. It has nothing to do with anybody else. Okay? So they don't know this about you yet. They don't know this about you. It's going to take this person some time is what I'm getting. But I feel that you're very serious about them. And they're needing to kind of catch up. They're used to being moved and led by other people. And they're kind of stepping into their power now. Like, I don't care what nobody say about you, Taurus. I feel like this person hasn't been like that. They're just now becoming strong. They're just now becoming more, you know, single, more independent. Like, you know, having a voice for themselves. Alrighty, so let's just make sure that we're taking that into consideration while you're dealing with this individual. Okay, beautiful. You got divine counterpart, emperor, empress energy. You guys could be dealing with another Taurus or Libra or an Aries here. But I feel that this person definitely views you as their divine counterpart. They views you as their, their emperor, their empress. They feel that you are, I'm hearing independent. They like the fact that you're independent. They love the fact that you are not for everybody. You know, you have your own mind. They love all of that. Okay, so again, this person could really be taking notes is what I'm getting with this energy. This person that's been taking notes, they're inspired by you. Okay, so this isn't just like, oh, you know, um, homie love a friend and type of energy. This person, they, they have this respect for you. Okay, they have a consideration when it comes to you. And I feel like you are teaching them a lot. So make sure that you don't enable them to be convinced that, the world is against them or, you know, the world is against y'all and y'all connection. It's like, make sure that you are being honest with them. Do not play games with them. Don't play games with them. You may be a bit older or just more mature than this person is what I'm picking up. This person is very, like, I just feel like they're very immature, okay? And so you could be teaching them a thing or two. Make sure you are not so invested that you aren't properly guiding them okay give them what they truly genuinely need in this connection which is the truth all right respect as well but the truth the truth is going to be very important because this person they tend to cling to people and um i feel like they they're kind of going to go by everything that you tell them when they're in love with you so just be a bit careful be mindful of that if you are feeding this person poison, they could become a bit toxic. If you're telling them, yeah, your family ain't shit, your people ain't shit, your friends ain't shit, they fake as fuck, this person, they're going to, like, be fueled by that, okay? So if you could have the little drop of wisdom to give to them, like, no, I can see where they're coming from. I can see how, how they could feel like that. Like, keep it real with them. Keep it real with them because right now... They respect your opinion. They respect your, your voice, your thoughts. They respect that right now, okay? They're really drawn and led by you. So be mindful of that, okay? Let's get a couple more for the person that Taurus is dealing with, the person that has Taurus on their mind. Catch a four-leaf clover. Yeah, I feel like you're like their lucky charm. I'm thinking of Jagged Edge. Um, lucky charm but this person they really do view you as like you know the good thing that came into their life so I'm definitely picking up this victimized type of energy or even just like um, I'm hearing PTSD so maybe this person they really have gone through a lot of things in life and they feel like you know please don't let me down is what I'm hearing they don't want you to let them down okay they could be stuck in the past all right and it could like create this little moody energy in them all right, I just saw 1414. All right, you guys could be done with the Sagittarius. But I feel like they have this, like, moody, like, in and out. They switch up, you know, here and there. They jump in between their divine masculine, divine feminine energy. Okay, so it makes me feel like uh, sometimes they get triggered by certain things. And they could feel that you're not supporting them if you say certain things to them. But again, just be mindful that it's just because they respect you so much they value your opinion so much that they want you to always be on their side okay like i said this person could be a bit 
they're not as mature as you are, so they're definitely looking for you to choose sides. That's that's the type of individual you're dealing with, alrighty. So if you haven't um, one thousand percent supported their views or you know their vision or their their feelings, then they would definitely feel that you are choosing sides or you're not, you know. Like you don't fuck with them that much. They misconstrue what it means when you have a difference of opinion. So just make sure that you consider that. If you really give a fuck about this person, make sure you're considerate that um, they view you in such a high honor. Okay? They, they definitely view you. Oh, man. This person, they look at you like you. Like anything you say to us, anything you say, they're going to take it to heart. Okay, and it has a lot to do with the shit that they've been through in the past. So just make sure that you're not too hard on this person and you're not too easy either. Be honest with them. Be honest. Be thorough with them. It may actually help. Yeah, you, you know you got me. Okay, you know you got me. So that energy right there, even with that gray area being there, it makes me feel like this person, they're not going to flood out, you know, confide in you and let you know that you are put upon this pedestal okay they're not going to tell you that but they definitely feel that way and again that could be the reason why they're a bit moody is when i'm getting this person they don't want to lose you they respect you they value you uh but they have been let down in the past they've gone through shit that makes them feel like their partner is always going to turn on them or their family has turned on them their friends have turned on them we saw the fake friend shit in the beginning it's like the moment that they're ready to commit that's when motherfuckers turn on them, okay? I'm getting strong water energy, okay? Because these are the only um, colored cards we have here outside of our green, our red, and our black, okay? So I'm not seeing any of the other elements, but you still could be dealing with other signs. Please, like, don't get it confused. Take what resonates, but the water energy is coming through strong. So this could be a Scorpio Cancer Pisces or just someone who, again, is just very emotional, they're so emotionally intense that they, they take everything so personally. And right now, they're looking at you like, you mommy, you big, you papa bear, you mama bear right now. So if you don't fuck with them or you don't, you know what I'm saying, share their same views and opinions or at least support it, they definitely take it to heart. All right, Taurus? I'll get one more and then we'll jump into, we have Libra involved here. We have Libra involved. So this could also be a Libra that you're dealing with, or there just needs to be some type of balance instilled into this um, situation here. Justice energy. It's about fairness. It's about justice. It's not about what, you know, one person thinks and another person, you know, it's just about like what's right. What's right. Okay. So you're not always going to agree with this person, <laughs> you know, but there is definitely a way to support them there's a way to show them that you don't mean any harm you have their best intentions at heart but yeah if you have a difference of opinion or you feel like they're fucking up it's like you, you need them to understand that and you need them to be able to receive that accept that not be so you know stuck in the past that they can't you know see when somebody genuinely is a, a four-leaf club or somebody genuinely has their best interests at heart all right, this person feel like every fucking thing is an attack. <laughs> Everybody's attacking them, you know, as far as they're concerned. So just make sure that you're reassuring them, like, no, I'm not the, the same motherfuckers you was dealing with in the past. You know what I'm saying? But I can see that you're still hurt by it, and I can see that you're uh, abusing our relationship because of that shit. So just make sure that you are not feeding them nonsense that, you know, they're always right, because that could have been the reason why they've become the way that they are now. They, they basically conditioned themselves to be the victim, all right? So make sure that you don't add on to that. This person needs the truth, and nothing but the truth, head ass. All right, Taurus, so now let's look into your energy, see what's going on with you, get you some messages from spirit, and we'll close it on out, okay? It's Taurus, uh, you got this motherfucker like, as long as I got Taurus on my side, I don't give a fuck what nobody say. No, okay, so maybe you might just be the only one that could get through to this person like, listen, babe, you tripping. <laughs> you tripping, and they won't receive it from anybody but you. Okay, the whole world could tell this motherfucker they ain't shit, and they'd be like, I don't give a fuck. I don't care about what none of them got to say. What Taurus say? Okay, so if you got them like that, Make sure, make sure you're being honest with them, okay? You're being fair, you're being just, all right? 
Messages 11 light right away for Taurus. We have the eight of Pentacles. Nice. Okay, so again, guys, please pay attention to the details. Pay attention to your position right now is what I'm getting from the eight of Pentacles. Okay, I feel like um, I'm putting these on top of the cards I've pulled out, the index cards. This is on top of never in the mood. All right, Taurus, so for you. Make sure that you're paying attention to the details. Maybe you have a tendency to overlook certain things, but Spirit is wanting you to really take some time out for you right now in your spirit. Excuse me. <clears throat> spirit wants you to take some time out for you and your spirit, okay? Some time to rejuvenate yourself, some time to heal, okay? Don't let anyone overburden you. Pay attention to the red flags also, I just heard. Alrighty, so make sure that you are not ignoring certain things and giving people the benefit of the doubt because that benefit of the doubt could lead to, again, uh, trauma or a fucking victimization, whatever the case may be. Like, you want to be honest with people. Um, don't give up is what I'm hearing. Don't give up. You don't have to ghost anybody or cut anybody off if they're not aligning with you. Just be honest with them. Be detailed with them. Explain certain things to them. Even if you feel like, I don't gotta explain myself to no fucking body. I'm not in the mood for that. I'm not in the mood to be raising nobody and telling nobody and teaching nobody. You're right. You know, however, if you are looking for growth and a connection with the eight energy reminds me of growth, strength, courage, um, you may want to be honest, utilize an opportunity to be detailed about how you are feeling, okay? How is your spirit connecting or resonating with this situation, with this person, with this job, whatever the case may be? I see one, two, three, four on the clock, you know, are you in alignment? Are you on the right track? Make sure you're paying attention to those details, okay? Because if your soul is not, if it's not sitting well with you, but you're just feeling a bit like, I don't feel like dealing with it right now, even that, that's detail. Letting someone know, look, you have a lot of emotions going on right now, and we're going to get to it. I'll talk to you about it. I'll let you know how I feel. I know you care about my pain and all, but right now, it's a bit much, okay? It's a bit much for me. That is honest. That's fair. That's just. They're either going to respect it or they're not. Okay, but at least you let them know exactly where this is coming from so that they don't feel so dismissed by you. Whether it be a job, a lover, it doesn't matter. Okay, just let people know if you're in the mood or you're not in the mood, you still have a, your, your rights as an individual. But try not to be so dismissive if you've been that way. Just let a motherfucker know. It's okay to send a quick text. You know, or answer a phone call or whatever. Just let somebody know, hey, this is what's going on. And I don't feel like, you know, getting all detailed with it right now. I'll get back to you about it, though. Okay, I won't forget. All right, Taurus? What else we got for Taurus? Let's clarify no more games for Taurus energy. Spirit's message to Taurus. No more games. Let's clarify no more games. Oh, you got that lover's energy. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Gemini. All right, so somebody is definitely serious about you, as we have already said, Taurus. Somebody's serious about you. They value you. Your opinion is like king is what I'm hearing. Sade, your love is king, Taurus. <laughs> okay, so it's like somebody really looks at you like, you know, if they can trust anything, they can trust that you're being honest with them. They can trust that whatever you're telling them, that's the fucking truth. Alrighty, so please don't utilize this time to bullshit them. Alright, love, it's like, um, I'm getting this manifestation energy. You guys could be manifesting a very, I'm hearing longevity, long-term commitment. Okay, a beautiful connection here. But if it's based upon lies or it's based upon coddling this person or just telling them they're always right or whatever the case may be, you cannot grow. Okay, so really pay attention to the details when you're dealing with certain situations. Yes, come from a space of love, you know, fairness, justice, but make sure that you are not toying with anyone. I'm also hearing don't lead anybody on. Okay, if you have someone that you're truly not interested in and they're trying to constantly gain something from you, make sure that you're being honest with them. 
don't put it off for the next day and the next day or continue to snatch or you know get whatever you getting from them towards make sure you're being honest with people about where you stand with them is what i'm getting from that all right but someone is definitely going to be serious about you or you could start to become serious about someone because you're feeling like they're serious about themselves okay i love that energy so on the love department you're not being played with Taurus. so make sure you're not playing you're not the one playing the games okay let's clarify it don't concern me how they feel about you for Taurus. Mm, see what i said eight of swords energy that victimized energy okay so again if this person has um someone that they deal with that has not been supportive it doesn't mean that you have somebody in your corner you don't have to match everything this person says you don't have to mirror everything that they say if that's not your story then it's not your story don't force it to be don't start viewing all your family and friends it's all fucked up because this person you're dealing with they got situations like that try to be supportive of them yes but you know you don't have to match their energy okay be honest with them if you feel like they're playing the victim and you feel like they're you know just that they need some some strength in that backbone be okay with telling them that coming from a space of love okay remember to be kind remember to be loving as you would want someone to treat you towards Alrighty, so maybe you don't give a fuck about it. It's like, why do you care about what your family and your friends think? Like, who gives a fuck? That may be how you coming at them. And they're like, well, you know, that could fuel them into being something that they're truly not. But they're trying to impress you because they value your opinion. So now they're turning into a bitch or an asshole. And that's not even them. Okay, so like if they're a sweet person, for example, and they're confiding in you and telling you, and like, yeah, I don't give a fuck, and you feel like it's not them, that's not even like their personality, start to show them support, like, hey, I know how I feel about my family and my friends or how I feel about situations. You don't have to match me. Okay, I, I accept you for who you are. Let this person know or this situation know you accept them for who they are. They do not have to put on to try to be like you. That's not why you're dealing with them. Because I'm definitely getting this energy that somebody feels like they have to be like you in order to keep you. Okay, they're not realizing that you were attracted to the difference in them. All right, is what I'm picking up towards. Let's clarify, single. You inspire my fucker so much, they want to be you. It's like, damn, you want to be with me or you want to be me, motherfucker? You trying to clone me? <laughs> This motherfucker said they want to be just like Taurus. Like, no, you can never be. You can never be. They could never be like you, Taurus. So they need to understand that that's not what you're fucking with them for. Yeah, see, you got the tile reverse here. It's like this near miss energy. This person is trying to. They're trying to get on your level here and get on my level, ho. <laughs> they're trying to get on your level and not realizing that that's not exactly what you were looking for. Okay? It's like, be yourself. Be yourself. That's what I liked about you. That's what I wanted. Like, you know, be yourself. All right. So this person, um, you guys could be dealing with the Scorpio or um, Aries with this um, tower energy. But yeah, it's like, you know, be comfortable in letting them know that they are enough. Like you appreciate their individuality. So maybe you're going to have to drop details with this person. Like, I like that you do this i like that you do that like you have to remind them that it's the difference that you appreciate not the clone behavior not the twinsies behavior <laughs> it's like this person could even be trying to dress like you really mimic you because they they adore you okay but you're gonna have to inspire them if you want this connection you want to save this connection before it turns into some other shit i'm getting a single white female <laughs> before it turns into that you're gonna have to applaud this person for their efforts and being themselves okay let them know i love the fact that you me and you don't have the same you know um career or we don't have the same style i love that we don't have the same this that and the third because this person they will full blown try to become you and it will create a tower moment okay if they don't know how to be single then you, they're definitely going to miss out on an opportunity with you. It's going to die out very quickly. You're going to start feeling like bombarded by this person if you don't let them know. It could also be a job is what I'm getting here. Like maybe you're dealing with a particular job that that is not considerate of your, your lifestyle, considerate of the things that you have going on. Okay, they're going to have to know. 
They're going to have to know that you're not like every other employee. You have other things going on in your situation in your life that requires a little more detail or requires a little more patience or accommodation. Okay, so don't be afraid to let them know that because what's for you is going to be for you. All right, I'm getting this near miss energy. Like you may just be surprised by letting them know that you know, hey, I I, I need a little more time. I need a little more help when it comes to this, that, or whatever the case may be. You being honest and open about your particular situation is going to stand out. It's like, wow, you felt confident enough to come to us. Like, we could fuck with that. We could work with that. You just saved your job. <laughs> you just saved this connection. You just saved your relationship because I thought that you were like everybody else. Okay? So don't be like everybody else. Be yourself. All right? Be yourself, Taurus. You're definitely worth it is what I'm hearing. They will accommodate you. They will listen. You know, you're special. You're special. You got it like that. <laughs> Let's clarify stuck in the past, of course. Let's clarify stuck in the past. We got two here. Okay, the temperance and the three of wands reversed. Ooh, someone got tired of waiting. Okay, someone got tired of waiting for something. Okay, this could also just be you feeling like, hey, I, I'm not going to be waiting around forever for you to get over this past energy here. Okay, you could be feeling that way towards a situation. Okay, you could be becoming a bit impatient with someone that keeps bringing up your past. Like maybe you were waiting for them to get over it. You've been very patient. You've been very, you know, considerate of them being through some like going through some type of hard time it's like damn I, I can see why you're hurting by that but when you gonna move on when you gonna move on so you could be waiting for someone to get over it is what i'm hearing okay and they they still haven't and that could create some type of burnout for you or frustration for you um i feel like you could be losing your patience with something because of that past energy like it's it's over and done but the heartache lives on head ass okay like somebody needs to simply like let it go this could be someone from your past that is still um you know patiently waiting and you've been moved on you've been moved forward from them but they're still waiting on you or waiting on some type of um closure from you okay they need to forgive it uh forget it move on <laughs> all right let's clarify you know you got me Clarify, you know you got me for Taurus. Okay, you got this King of Swords energy. You guys could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Alrighty, but with that great area, the King of Swords, we know this this is very clear. This is very um also strategic. I will say that, you know, this person they know how to I'm hearing read minds. They know how to read minds, they know how to they're very intellectual very smart they pay attention to all the signs already so they don't have to necessarily be as communicative because they communicate in various ways all right so again with this clarifying this gray area you know you got me someone they may feel like you have strong feelings for them or they may feel that you're interested in them again i'm picking up this job energy so it could even be a job like we we think Taurus is happy here. We think Taurus is like somebody is looking for clarity. All right. And they feel that you have all the answers. You have the clarity that they are looking for. But you're kind of tight lipped with it. All righty. So I feel that someone is looking for you to provide them with some type of communication to clear the air. All right. At this point, this person is going to fuck how you communicate. It could be through a call. It could be through a text. It could be through fucking... <laughs> Uh, telepathically it don't even matter at this point somebody is looking for you to send them some type of message okay to let them know that you're feeling the same way or you're on the same page is what I'm hearing you guys could be dealing with a page like a student or again someone younger than you that don't know how to just voice like step up and say damn Taurus how you feeling you know they'd rather look for the signs and shit okay so make sure that you are mindful if you're investing in someone who's looking for some reassurance um, make sure that you are not leaving them to read your mind like oh it's no big deal you already know what it is no i feel like somebody doesn't know what it is and they're waiting for you to let them know what it is 
All right. Okay, Taurus. So let's see, we got a couple more, three more here. Let's tell our, uh, clarify divine counterpart. Who is this divine counterpart, Taurus? Okay, you have the high priestess reverse. So you guys could be dealing with a Pisces or a Virgo with this reversal here. But see, yeah, this person, they don't know how to read mind. And again, I feel like they don't necessarily listen to their intuition or you're not paying attention to your intuition. It's like you're not realizing this person is waiting and yearning for you to be open with them. This silent treatment shit is not working. With this reversal, it makes me feel like it's time to speak up. Okay, enough of the reading minds, enough of the clues, enough of all the, I'm hearing visions, dreams, all that. I'm hearing dream works. <laughs> enough of all of that. Somebody definitely needs to speak up, speak their truth. Okay, coming from a genuine space, coming from their heart, coming from their intuition, their spirit, whatever it may be, because someone isn't speaking up right now. Break the silence is what I'm getting with this, Taurus. Break the silence. Okay, it's like it, it was fun while it lasted. So you could be feeling like something is done with as well, uh, but you don't want to say anything. The high priestess represents, you know, your connection with your intuition so with it being in reverse it's like someone is not listening to their intuition or they're not speaking up about what they truly feel you know what i'm saying so make sure that that's not you doing that be very vocal be honest like even if it goes against everybody else's views everybody else's rules that don't got shit to do with nothing like how you're feeling what your intuition is telling you that needs to be said that needs to be known Okay, no mind games. Don't leave them like, oh, you already know what it is. No, Taurus, they don't. Most likely, based on these cards, they don't fucking know what it is. You're going to have to let them know. <clears throat> Let's clarify catch a four-leaf clover for you, Taurus. Let's clarify catch a four-leaf clover for Taurus. You got the Hierophant. Beautiful. It's Taurus energy. You guys can be dealing with another Taurus. Or this is just simply telling you, like, your truth, your tradition, your way of being. Maybe you, you've you been fixed. <laughs> we know that fixed energy. You know, you, you could have just been like, you know, I have my way of doing things, and that's what it is, and that's what it's going to be. Fine, Taurus, but don't expect everybody to understand it or expect everybody to be on the same wavelength because they're not. They are not you. There's so many different aspects to consider in other human beings and spiritual beings, like, you know, to assume that they're going to understand or, you know, automatically know what's going on with you. They do not. All right. So you can put off the impression that everything is fine. You can put off the impression that you're happy. But intuitively, if you, you know, are not feeling some shit, like people can pick up on your spiritual well-being as well towards Alrighty, so it's kind of like there's levels to this shit is what I'm getting with the stairs behind. Alright, so make sure you're stepping. You're going high with the higher fine. Yeah, you're, you're going to, towards the light. Okay, I'm somehow like with the lighting on this card and the way I have a position, I'm seeing like a horse <laughs> in the shadows here, you know. So it's like don't be afraid to, you know, charge towards your truths. Don't be afraid to take the higher road. And, and being clear and being honest about what you genuinely feel, okay? You don't have to conform to anyone else's tradition to just keep the peace is what I'm hearing. No, your way may actually be the way that shit needs to go. But nobody knows if you're not saying anything, all right? So be mindful of that. Mindful of that. That catch a four-leaf clover energy is like, hey, you may just fuck around and start a whole new tradition, like, hey, we didn't even realize that employees wasn't getting long enough breaks until Taurus let us know that they had to go pick up their kid, you know, uh, during break time and get them out of school and they needed an extra 15 minutes. So now we're giving everybody an extra 15 minutes. Like, we should have been giving y'all an extra 15 minutes all along. Thank you, Taurus. You know, whatever the case may be. I'm not saying it could, you know, I'm not saying that it could happen. And I'm not saying that it can't. I'm just saying, you're not going to know until you go after it, until you voice that, all right? So some type of, um, I'm hearing inconvenience for you, if you speak up on it, it will definitely change a tradition. It'll change a whole tradition in an entire situation, a company, a relationship, doesn't matter what it is. The moment you voice your truth, the moment the Hierophant shows up, Taurus steps up, charges through, that's when shit is going to change for the better. 
okay? All right, and last but not least, we have Libra involved, which is that justice energy as well as that, you know, this balanced energy as well as the Empress energy, okay? You have the devil reverse, all right? So it's breaking free, breaking free from limitations, restrictions. I'm really getting like there's rules in place and you don't realize by you speaking your truth is going to change it, like make it easier for everybody. They're going to be thankful that, damn, I'm so glad, choice. Like nobody else had the balls to do it. The moment you speak up, the moment that you expose whatever the fuck has been going on, or you're just like your shit, you ain't trying to come through and play a superhero for everybody. You just let them motherfuckers know, like, damn, man, this ain't working for me. I love it here. I love this situation. I love this job. I love this relationship. However, I have some concerns about X, Y, and Z, like it's creating issues for me. The moment you do that, it is going to break chains, not only for you, but for others. Okay, yeah, that's not your responsibility, but understand what you could do, how powerful you are, even with the devil energy and that understanding that this motherfucker don't have power until we give it to him. You know what I'm saying? You see how it's in the reversal, you know what I mean? So it's like it doesn't have power until you give it power. And I feel that, you know, the tradition, it may have been strong, the limitations, the restrictions, they may be strong, but you, you have the power towards to break those chains from your truth. Okay, with your truth. So that is what I have for you guys. If it resonates, I hope to see you next time. If it doesn't, it's just simply not your story, all right? Um, I just started working on my community board, so I will be posting certain things on there just for fun and whatnot. I'm just excited to do it. Um, but I appreciate you guys. I love you, Taurus, and I'll see you next time.